In this lecture, we're going to finish the invaders game. Before we get into that, let me remind you all what we've done so far and what you've learned so far. The most important thing that we've done so far is we wrote down the data definition for what a world is. Everything else in the program flows from these data definitions. In the course of writing down these data definitions, you learned about built-in structures and list abbreviations. You also got a bit more practice to design programs that use recursive unions. These include a list of positives and a natural number. We then wrote functions that draw a world as an image and also move the items in the world around. In the course of doing that, you learned about the wishlist method. At the end of the last lecture, I listed three things that are still missing in our game. We need some way to control the player. We need to remove the invader and the bullet when a bullet hits an invader. And we need some way to detect when the game is over. So in the first exercise today, you're going to design at least one of three functions that contribute to these three goals. If you feel like designing a player controller, you could design this function that handles a key event to move the player around and to shoot a bullet. Remember that a bullet cannot be shot if there's already a bullet that's flying. Also, if you're designing this function, you will have to decide how far the player moves each time the user hits the left key or the right key. In the second function that you might design, you are going to check if the given bullet hits the given invader. This is going to be useful for removing the invader and the bullet if a hit is recorded. If you're designing this function, you have to decide how close a hit counts as a hit because we don't want to require that the bullet be exactly on top of the invader for a hit to count. Finally, you could choose to design a function invaders landed, huh? That checks if any invader has landed. That is one of two ways the game can end. The game can end either when invaders landed or when the invaders are all gone and the list of invaders becomes empty. You can choose at least one of these three functions to design, but before you begin, be sure to download the starting point that we provided for you. This starting point summarizes what we've done so far in this class. So be sure to download the file finishinginvaders.rkt. It is available through the lecture webpage. And I will see you after you're done designing at least one of these three functions in the next video.